So I'm going to play that low note again, okay? And then I'm going to blow a little bit harder and see if I can find those other frequencies that this tube likes, okay? So I'm not going to change my fingers. And if you've been watching up here, this is kind of fun to watch, right? You can just turn this on at a party or something and have a little fun. So what we're seeing here is it's kind of like a frequency finder. So this program is picking up what frequencies are being heard in the room. So if I play the flute one more time, just to see this lowest frequency that I'm actually playing, OK? All those spikes are other tones that are being played at the same time? At the same time. So your ear is great. It says, well, I know that. And the we, highest one? We think we're only hearing the first one on the left. That's right. That's exactly right. So your ear says, OK, I understand that this frequency that I'm playing is around 500 hertz, if you look at the bottom line here. And the highest one, the strongest one, the one that your ear understands is the note, is that first one, OK? But what makes it sound like a flute, what gives it its tone color or timbre, as you may have heard before, is the fact that you have a lot of other things happening that you don't really perceive as being the note. But it also means that if you follow, as I play here in a moment, if you follow, I'm going to play the low note. As I blow harder, I can actually play on that second highest peak. OK, and these are called harmonics. Try again. So as I blow harder and harder, I'm actually going up onto those different harmonics.